The Directorate of Criminal Investigations is, is investigating a case of a cartel that has been hoarding blood donated by well-wishers and selling it to Somalia. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe says the cartel is part of a litany of challenges that have locked the Kenya blood transfusion system that has seen the amount of blood drop to just 164,000 pints in Kenya's blood bank. Our very own Sam Gituku reports of a system that has been perforated, pardon the pun, by self-interests at the cost of patients that need urgent transfusion. Take a listen. It's the latest of veils to rock the Kenyan society. This time round of a commodity that separates life from death. In a country that requires one million pints of blood annually, the current stock is only 164,000, making it a medical commodity in high demand. And that has opened an appetite, not by those who need it, but those that need the money, not just in the country, but outside too. There is a major criminal cartel that is involved in stealing of blood. We hear there is even uh, some blood from Kenya that is apparently uh, appearing in, uh, um, in Somalia and other countries. To understand the weaknesses in the system, the blood donation cycle begins at recruiting blood donors at churches, schools and public gathering places. The next step involves blood collection where volunteers appear to donate their pints. The blood is then taken to laboratories for testing and grouping. Any blood containing traces of infectious diseases is discarded. Conducive blood is moved to the fourth stage that comprises component preparation. Harvesting of blood platelets also happens here. The separated blood components then move to the most critical stage in linking blood user to the commodity. It is the storage and preservation of blood and blood components. Here, blood is distributed based on needs presented. This is the stage business-minded cartels have been taking advantage of. It is happening uh, within our blood, blood transfusion uh, department to unearth what is happening to business to some business people who are also part of that cartel some hospitals are also involved in that cartel so what we intend and what we have asked for is a full blown investigation to uh, to come up with uh, with an arrest all right to investigate and arrest those culpable who's found culpable in this whole menace. But the current network of blood donation and processing appears to limit crucial activities to the six regional blood transfusion centers. They are in Nairobi, Embu, Nakuru, Eldred, Kisumu and Mombasa. They are responsible for testing and processing blood collected at 21 other satellite centers across different counties. And this 164,000 pints have to be distributed across you know, nearly 8,000 facilities. You can imagine they wouldn't be enough. When you have got uh, as little blood as we have, we operate on need basis. You know, where it is most needed, that's where it goes. But you can see that that is not a solution. That's not a solution. That is a desperate measure. The actions of the state cartels would appear to defeat the intention of giving thousands of patients in dire need of a second chance in life. They include anemic patients, patients undergoing surgical operations, patients with cancer, and those suffering from leukemia. Others caught in emergency need for blood transfusion are accident victims and mothers that develop complications during pregnancy. The Ministry of Health hopes to reorganize the blood transfusion service and boost the management of the distribution network. We also intend to install an ICT system that can track and trace blood so that blood that is donated in one area or by an individual can be tracked all the way up to the end user of that blood. Ensuring that the database is able to disaggregate for us the different blood types that exist because some blood shortages are in certain blood types, the rarer ones. Mm. So that we have, you know, that band of um, and cohort of donors who we are able to work with. Issues that are highly articulated in um, a bill that we are working on in the Ministry of Health, um, a bill that we see the reform of the blood space. It's um, Kenya National Blood Transfusion and Tissues Bill. The country's blood shortage and crippled management began after USAID withdrew its support for blood drives and management. Sam Gitukusri TV, Nairobi.